Hello everybody, welcome to 2025, wishing you a very happy new year. We are here to talk about WhatsApp hijacking. So off late, I have been hearing a lot of incidents of WhatsApp getting hijacked. So let me explain you what WhatsApp hijacking is. WhatsApp hijacking is nothing but when your phone gets stolen or somebody scams you by asking you the WhatsApp verification OTP. By mistake, you give them the OTP, they log into your WhatsApp and they start getting access of your messages and your contacts. You will have to do settings on your WhatsApp to make sure that your WhatsApp is not hijackable. So step one is to make sure that you have two-factor authentication. To enable this two-factor authentication, you will have to go to settings inside your WhatsApp, click on account and over there you will have an option called two-factor authentication. Enable this two-factor authentication with a secret code. Make sure you do not give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or all zeros or any sequential numbers for this two-factor authentication. Make sure this is a complicated code and also save this code inside your notes or share it with any of your family member. In case of emergency, when you want to retrieve it, you can ask them for it. Secondary, you will have to make sure that you own the WhatsApp. So what exactly owning a WhatsApp means is you're making sure that your WhatsApp is verified using your email. So to do this, you'll have to go to settings, click on account and over there you'll have an add email option. Click on add email, give your personal or your business email ID. It will send you a verification code on your email. Take the verification code and verify it back on your WhatsApp. So once this is done, you will get a message email verified. So once this email is verified, you don't have to worry. Even if you forget your two-factor authentication, you will be able to retrieve it using your email ID. Thirdly, I'll suggest you is take your WhatsApp backup regularly. To do this, if you're using an iPhone, make sure you have enough iCloud storage on your cloud to take the WhatsApp backup and limit your WhatsApp backup to 15 GB. If you include WhatsApp videos in your backup, it is going to take a lot of space and consume a lot of time to take a backup on your cloud. Finally, once these three settings are done, your WhatsApp is completely safe and secured. Do share this video with your friends and family. If you think this video was helpful, kindly subscribe and follow my channel and wait for more such videos to get educated on tech. Thank you. My name is Amit and you're watching my channel, A Gadget Story.